Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android Firebase tutorial and today in this video we are going to retrieve some kind of data that we actually save inside the Firebase or we actually create it inside the Firebase console. So from the last tutorial we have seen that how to save the data inside the Firebase and today in this video we are going to see how to retrieve the data from the firebase so one thing to mention you guys that after completing this retrieving part then we are going to make a login android app inside the firebase so stay tuned so in order to retrieve the data from the firebase console all we need is to go to the android studio so as you can see it's the same app everything is same i have the json files inside the app i have the dependencies inside the gradle file and the only thing i changed is that i removed every single line from this xml and also from this main activity so to retrieve a text from the firebase we all we simply need a text view so i'm just dragging it into the center then adding some modification okay so as you can see we have assembled text with the id text view now let's go to the main activity and all we need to do is to add the reference for the text view okay now i have added the reference for the text view now we have the firebase so we have to connect to the firebase url with the app so typing the firebase dot said android context and that is going to be get application context and once that done we have to add the firebase we have to initialize the firebase so firebase then my firebase now using the my firebase variable we are adding we are connecting the project with the firebase so the project url can be easily can see over here just copy that or you can also find it inside the Google JSON file that we just pasted inside the app folder. So I'm simply pasting it here, closing it. So in this video, we are going to retrieve a single child from the Firebase console. So we have to manually give the name of the child. And in the future videos, we'll be going to have a look at how to use a dynamic child, which means that the, the child will be chosen according to our preference. So for now, I'm simply giving it as my child or uh, the text i want to get just name the child as text and there will be some different kind of values so my child so the next thing is that my firebase door we have to add a add value even listener yeah this one then new value even listener so the reason why we have to use the value even listener is because it have two different methods one is this one data change and this one is one cancelled so the one data change method will call when the data from the console has been changed and instantly it will going to call this method and it will be changing the data from our android app and the one cancelled is nothing but simply if there is any kind of errors with the firebase then it will be called now what we have to do is that we have to convert this data snapshot which is actually a json data so simply typing yeah so we need a, we need to convert this into a string resource so that we can able to use it in, inside the my text view so typing string then my child text equal to then data snapshot then uh, get get value okay now inside the get value we have to add the type of the keyword which is actually the string dot class so the reason why I have to add the string dot class is because the data that we get from the Firebase console is simply a JSON file so we have to convert it into a class file so that we can able to use it inside the text view so anyway once you're done what we have to do next is that we have to add the text view so that is my text view then set text and in the brackets we have to add the my child text okay now we have done we have added the my child tag inside the set text method of this text view so also if you want you can also add the this thing error found okay so that's pretty much it now we have almost everything that we require we have added the context we added the project url 
along with the child name or the child key so now let's go and try this in an android device so i'm going to click this i have my new emulator which is called asteroid kitty just a symbol name that i have given so here it is now i'm going to run the app in this device at the same time i'm going to this firebase console and changing it into the size so here is our emulator here is our firebase console okay so the gradle has been completed and they hope that our application is launching now yeah so we have the app on the emulator and you can see it is nothing there's nothing on the app and it's just because it actually retrieved the data from the firebase but as you can see inside the firebase we have added nothing so we have to simply click on this add child and in this case we have to give the name as text itself and the value goes something like anything as you wish so i just simply typing my firebase app then hitting enter you can see almost instantly it added the my firebase app so simply changing this into subscribe I know you already done that so it is subscribe now so new message arriver and now it's new message arriver so that's how you can able to retrieve the data from the firebase console or firebase database into your android app so in the next video we are going to have a look at how we can able to just elaborate the concept of retrieving data and doing much more complicated things so if this video was helpful then hit that like button and just in case if you're new to this channel then hit that subscribe button so as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out